It might look like some type of robot for a new science fiction movie, but it's not. It is about five and a half feet tall. It's a cylinder with light bulbs all around. It's also not some new high-tech weapons system. When it turns on, the light bulbs light up and it is irradiating or illuminating an entire room. This machine is a germ killer. Please prepare the room for optimal disinfection and secure all entrances. You can think of it as a kind of mechanical cross between a sterile handy wipe and an antibacterial spray. So we would use it by rolling it into a room, walking out of the room after preparing it, and by remote control would turn the machine on. The device emits a type of ultraviolet light called UVC. You've probably heard about ultraviolet light before. When doctors talk about sunburn, but they're referring to UVA and UVB light. Obviously, we've all heard about what UV does to skin, for example, right? You're supposed to wear sunblock because UV light can cause damage to the cells in our skin. Well, you can think of the UV in these machines as acting similarly, and it actually impacts the DNA of the bacteria. So it penetrates within the bacteria and disrupts the DNA, thereby killing the bacteria. UVC light is a little further down the spectrum. It is a shorter wavelength, which means it doesn't cause skin cancer in humans, but it does kill bacteria. A study by researchers at Duke University Health System Hospitals finds the germ-killing machine may help hospitals in their fight to keep drug-resistant bacteria from lingering in patient rooms and causing new infections. The study focused on four drug-resistant organisms. This is MRSA bacteria. It's the most common of the superbugs. Then there's VRE, which stands for vancomycin-resistant enterococcus. C. difficile, and probably after MRSA, probably another one of those that people are hearing more about, or Clostridium difficile. And then the fourth one is Acinetobacter. And it turns out those bacteria can live on in the environment, even after a patient has left the room and it's been cleaned. To be clear, researchers found hospitals are cleaning using the proper disinfectants. And disinfectants like that are highly effective. That's the real answer here, is that those really do work. The issue is a little bit more complicated than that, though, and because it's related to making sure you have enough time to clean rooms. And if you've ever been in a hospital room, you see that there are really a lot more nooks and crannies in there than you might expect when you think about the, these sophisticated beds and the other equipment that might be in there. So the bottom line, it's actually really difficult to clean a, a hospital room from top to bottom like we would like to. And so what this machine does is add to that chemical clean. We make sure we get as many of the surfaces as we can with the chemicals, but then we're adding on this additional tool. Total room disinfection in process. It takes about 30 minutes for the machine to do its germ-killing work. Researchers found when UVC light was combined with traditional cleaning, the overall transmission of superbugs decreased by 30%. The other part of that story, really we're taking advantage of the UV light because it is a reflective and so we can actually kill germs that are right here on top of the table, can direct sight with the UV machine, but also because the UV light bounces around, we can also kill germs underneath tables. And we have learned that when we measure how well our rooms get cleaned, there are a few of those kind of under the table areas that don't often get cleaned or maybe not cleaned as often as we would like for them to. Areas such as the TV remote, the light switch, or the corner of a room. The technology was born in the midst of bioterrorism research. Companies are looking for other ways to market the product. Healthcare was the obvious choice. And researchers continue to look at other ways hospitals can cut infection rates for all pathogens. But the germ-killing robot's effectiveness in reducing infection risks and reducing cost is catching the interest of hospitals. You can't decide which room you go into. So you want to make sure that the hospital that you are being admitted to is doing everything they can to prevent you from being exposed to these pathogens. And what we, again, have learned is that there are certain rooms that are riskier than others. And by using technologies like this, we can reduce that risk back to, what, to, to a lower level and make sure that we're keeping you safe when you come into the hospital.